So yesterday marked the, the ninth anniversary of the, the 9-11 attacks in, in our nation. It's kind of been a strange week leading up to that anniversary of 9-11. Of it seemed that uh, this year what, what got so much attention in, in the past week was the, the pastor, um, Pastor Terry Jones in Gainesville, Florida, Florida, who declared that he was going to, to burn the, the Koran on, uh, on yesterday. Uh, marking that anniversary, and all the, the controversy, all the, the attention that was focused on, on that event really kind of changed the tone as, as we looked at the, the anniversary of, of 9-11. Well, this, this pastor of a congregation of less than 50 people got the attention of the world, got the attention of the president, he got the, the attention of, of media, he, he even got a, a response and a reaction from, from around the world and, and when he said that he was going to, uh, to, to burn the Muslim holy book. You know, well, fortunately, he decided not to, to burn them and, and yesterday made a statement that he wasn't going to burn them yesterday, nor was he ever going to, to, to burn them in, in the future. You know, Reverend Jones does not um, represent all, all Christians as, as he speaks, uh, although there are those who, who may uh, embrace his tactics. Um, and yet, he is the representative of who Christians are in this last week. So if someone was looking for a reason to, to not like Christians, to distrust Christians, to, to hate Christians, you know, Reverend Jones was the, was the focus, and uh, people decided, well, all Christians must be like him. So how often do we maybe do similar things when we hear of a radical Muslim, and uh, and then we decide, well, all Muslims might must be like that. All Muslims must be those who who want uh, to uh, to escalate war and, and violence. But uh, we need to remember, just as as Reverend Jones does not represent all Christians, you know, one radical Muslim or a group of radical Muslims don't um, represent everyone in in that in that religion. So, Reverend Jones is a great reminder that our actions can act as a lightning rod, you know, a lightning rod that kind of stirs up, up trouble and, and uh, even stirs up adversity, or we can act as bridge builders, bridge builders that seek to, to be connectors and, and moving people in a, in a positive direction. So in this morning's scripture reading, Paul calls for, for us to be ambassadors. The, the idea of being an ambassador is, is the idea of being a, a representative. You know, if you're an ambassador on behalf of your nation, then it's, it's an issue that you're representing your nation. You know, and we are called to be Christ and Christ ambassadors. So that means that we are His representatives in the world. How we handle situations, how we respond to, to people, they are looking at us as Christ's ambassadors. Is this what Christians believe? Is this how Christians act? Is this how all Christians are? Are there times as you interact with other people that maybe you wish you could take some words back or take some actions back that you realize that you've not been a, a good ambassador, you've not been a positive ambassador, you've been more of a lightning rod rather than a than a bridge builder. You know, as we live as Christ's ambassadors or, or representatives in the world, in, in verse 16, it says that we are to regard no one from a worldly point of view. We're not to judge anyone by outward appearance. We're not to judge anyone because of social status. But we are to see others through the eyes of Christ. You know, it's so easy for us to, to judge or, or prejudge someone before we really get to know them. We, we look at them or we see their circumstances and we make some assumptions uh, about their, their situation. You know, another word for the idea of, of prejudging might even be the word prejudice. You know, when I was in seminary, I was in a, in a choir that was called the Singing Seminarians. And... And on spring break, we would, uh, would tour several states and 
the perform in, in churches and at colleges and universities. We were the ambassadors for the uh, for the seminary at that point. We were the seminary's representative as we went around in, in the, these various churches. And in one year, we made a stop in an Hispanic church in Chicago. Now, before we got there, we were pretty excited about the, going to this Hispanic church in, in Chicago. Uh, but something happened that we didn't expect. So we were on our bus ride, everything was going just fine, and we pulled off the interstate in to the neighborhood where the church was located. As we pulled off the, the interstate, it didn't look like a very nice neighborhood. There were all sorts of, of gang markings, all sorts of graffiti on, on uh, garages and, and buildings and and I just remember as we pulled off the interstate and began driving through the neighborhood, the bus got quiet. You know, no one said a word because we were kind of getting a, a little anxious, a little bit fearful about you know, this, this community that we were, were going into. You know, was the neighborhood going to be safe? Was the, the church in, in a safe location? Well, you know, it was common for members of the, the choir to stay in, in host homes with, with people from, from the church that night. And as we arrived, they told us that the, the guys were all going to go uh, to a downtown mission in Chicago to spend the night, and that the women were all going to, to be going into to private homes in, in the neighborhood. And as we got ready to, to stop the, the bus, some of the women broke the silence and say, said, can't we stay with the guys tonight? You know, it was an issue that they were fearful about going into to the homes in, in, in the neighborhood. Now, there's, there's much more about the, the story that I could, could tell you. Actually, that stop ended up being the highlight of, of our whole trip. Uh, the, the congregation there was, uh, was so gracious, were, were so genuine, they were so hospitable in, in, uh, and as they were, were reaching out to us and, and inviting them in, into their church. You know, their, their faith was, was contagious and, and it, uh, it impacted us. 